Boing. Still on the table. Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. We've got another creation by Evan Perry. And I believe one of his viewers on his channel, did you know he had a channel? Well, there's a link in the description, check it out. Well, anyway, one of his viewers suggested he make a slug out of a spring. And this weighs in at about 21 grams or three quarters of an ounce. And we're gonna send these things flying at around 1500 feet per second, well over the speed of sound. Now, since we don't want steel on steel, you know, damaging our barrel, I fabricated some sabos out of a spent shotgun shell. So this will not only protect the barrel, but also keep the slug centered in the barrel. And this is what it looks like with a roll crimp in the shell. Now the question is, will these fly straight? Will they be accurate? Or will they just be a complete failure? Boing. Welcome back, Talflator folks. I'm gonna welcome you back to another episode of Evan Perry in Texas makes crazy slugs for us to shoot here on Talflator <laughs> Mouse. I'm Officer Greg, Jeff behind the camera. Evan has sent us a crazy slug today that's a shaft. You've probably seen this on the tabletop already. A little shaft with a spring around it. We're gonna try these out today. Why do you need a, a shotgun slug with a spring wrapped around it? It's, Maybe, a, it's the future. Right. Maybe you want it to bounce and come back to you so you don't have to walk down range and clean it up. <laughs> Uh, we're going to try these today. We don't know anything about what they're going to do. Are they going to compress and expand downrange? Are they even going to fly straight? Who even knows? That's kind of why we're out here. So uh, put your comments down there before the video and then check yourself to see if you're right. People so, always cheat when you do that. I know. Oh, okay. Uh, Brandon's waiting for us here with a CO2 cartridge taped to his shirt. Why? I don't know. Where else are you going to put a CO2 that's, cartridge? I think that's a pretty optimistic thing to hit, but... We are about uh, 15 or 20 yards away with the uh, shotguns. We're going to try out a rifled and smooth bores and see if we can't hit that tiny little cartridge. And then, of course, we got other fun stuff for you, too. As always, there's a little bit of bagpipes. There's a skit. There's some poetry reading in original Russian. So uh, stick around and you'll get to see it all. All right, hit it. Here we go. Wow. Woo. I think you hit it. On his head. Now let's look at the high speed footage. That's not high speed. Let's slow it down to regular high speed. Well, it looks like the slug is tumbling, so it's surprising it was that accurate, but it also looked like the spring was already compressed from the tremendous G-shock during the firing cycle, nearly 15,000 Gs that just compressed that spring. And you found it. Found it. It's hot. It's in, our, in the vest. Laying inside the vest here, we found the cylinder laying on the ground. I thought you hit it. I did too, but it disappeared very quickly. All it did is bounce off on the ground. But the, uh, the little spring has been compressed. A little slinky it looked, It seemed somewhat accurate, uh, precise, or whatever term you want to use. Did it? It was just a little to the right. Just a little... Don't look... <laughs> Pay no attention to that driver's license number. Okay. <laughs> Next target. Rifled. Rifled barrel? Yeah, let's go rifle. Rifled barrel. I don't know. There's not much to engage the rifling with those thin washers, but we'll try it. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, try another one. Yeah, something happened there. There wasn't any recoil either. Really? Okay. So I'm wondering if... Check the barrel. Yeah, I heard something splat over there, but I think... Over there? Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Okay. That one also felt a little weird. That had a little recoil, but it felt a little weird. Maybe we just need a bigger target. Now this is the high speed from the second shot. It looks like we actually had some spin, but it just was not stable in flight at all. We decided at this point to go back to the smooth bore since we were having pretty good luck with that. Okay, back to smooth bore. Rifling did not help make it better. Okay, uh, I think I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, that was nice. So it likes the smooth bore. It likes the smooth bore. Oh, that was nice. Now, despite the slug still tumbling along, it's amazing it was that accurate. And yes, he did hit the CO2 capsule. In fact, you can see it spinning like a top on the bottom left corner. And it was kind of hard to see the cloud of CO2 gases when it did impact. But I want to try that target again in future videos. Yeah, hit it dead center and then uh, throw a little side out of that CO2 cartridge. 
We're probably going to fashion this into some kind of a little pan flute, a little whistle. Oh, uh. Listen to that. We can call in dogs or dinosaurs or something like that. That, 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 was, that was a full CO2. I expected... Was it? Yeah, it was. Because well, I see just a little bit of CO2 left. Yeah, there. we got to shoot those more, I think. What do you think, sure. viewers? <laughs> sure. Anything that's explosive, why not shoot them with a shotgun? Yeah. Maybe why we'll see some on the high speed that... You know what you're going to cool. get in the comment section right this second? Shoot it out they're, of a shotgun. They're furiously typing right now. Shoot it out of a shotgun. It's too thick for the hole, Jeff. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit, folks. There you go. None of the holes. It Stop it. Fit. Doesn't fit Stop asking. Any of the holes. They fly terribly. Okay, Plastisol gummy bear. And this is the super light slug. Super, oh, okay. Yeah, this one has slug. a lighter spring. Okay, uh, I'm ready. Right between the paws. I think he got it. Something hit him. He's doing good. Now this lighter weight slug weighs only 10 grams or about one third of an ounce. Now we saw a slight improvement in the aerodynamics of this one. It's still kind of bobbing and weaving through the air. But what's really interesting is the vapor trail it leaves behind. I think there was some oil on the slug that uh, Evan put on there to preserve it, keep it from rusting. But still, it's a really neat effect when you can see some kind of a supersonic vapor trail like that. Okay, another good shot. I mean, yeah. it was only off by half an inch, an inch. Half an inch to the right. <laughs> Seemed to hit uh, round end first. Yeah, it, it, Exited back it left a weird vapor trail, I noticed. So, one thing I noticed is this Plasticel has actually improved quite a bit from uh, last week. Last week's stuff was kind of crumbly and dry. Yeah. This is nice and rubbery again, like. Uh, yeah, I, I, I cooked this in a. It's called a stir mix a lot. <laughs> and uh, stir mix a lot. I, it's still yellow though. I, I still have I a like problem with overheating it. And I cannot lie. I set it for 350 degrees, and that's what I got. So. Okay, lead plate. All Everybody right. likes the lead plate. I get uh, it. Right on the blue ant. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, hit it. Ready? Wow, I think we got him in his little ant head. I think we got it. This is the 20-gram slug. It looks like, the again, the spring is already compressed from the G-Shock. But again, pretty abysmal stability. We like our slugs to fly straight through the air. This just did not do that. The spring slug hit near the head of the blue ant. Not on it, but a little bit to the right. It's not terrible accuracy well, with these things. Come to think of it, the ballistic gummy bear was about a half an inch to the right too. So. Yeah, I well, then when you go to adjust it to the left, it, then it wants to shoot to the left sure. or, or, you know, it's like try to use the same point of aim to get an idea it left some instead of, of trying to second guess it. Left some of these little the spring in there. Spring in there. We're glad these things don't bounce back on us with those springs. Yeah. You know, just <laughs> Newton's law says that they should be bouncing back on us. Uh, one washer stuck to the end. I can't, we can't find the other washer, but you can see a mark there where it hit. And uh, little pieces of spring left over. Okay, next target. Boo! On the berries. When you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. Oh, nice. Wow, you can see how brown it was. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Okay, another accurate slug despite it tumbling through the air. <laughs> it's probably accurate because they're well balanced. I don't know. You've got an idea, let me know. You must be feeling <clears throat> a little more pretty confident about these to hit a smaller target like feeling that. Feeling a little froggy. We're going to hit the barbasol cannon, not the tennis ball. Okay, good luck. When you are You'll ready. need it. Okay, uh, I am ready. Here we go. Wow. Woo. And... There's the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That was pretty good. We got a hot, mess though. Hot, uh, yeah. Glitter and foam everywhere now. Glitter and foam. Wow. Woo. Now our 21 gram slug, I might have said 20 earlier, uh, still tumbling like crazy. Um, it's amazing he was able to hit it. And I love how far that tennis ball flew. Ballistic toilet paper. <laughs> Now this is one of the lightweight 10 gram slugs. 
really cool looking vapor trail there. This one, again, must have had some oil on it to cause that. Let's rewind it and have another look at that really cool corkscrewing effect. So it key hold. <laughs> yeah, you can tell kind of how it hits sideways. Right through there. Wow. Here's what's kind of cool. You can follow the little path here. Nice smooth cuts. But there's two little smooth cuts right there. Huh. High and right. Kind of like uh, Joe Rogan. Oh, God. All right, you're going to save this and still use it? Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's still good. <laughs> okay, what's next? Well, we found this bear in the wild, but he's armed. So what we're going to try and do is disarm him. I'm going to hit the spoon. and. So oh, come on. Oh, you watch. Let's see if we can hit the spoon and not the bear. Oh, you're you're dreaming now, buddy. Well, I, dream, <laughs> I dream about teddy bears with spoons a lot, Jeff. <laughs> okay, this... This is some trick shooting here now. Yeah, I can barely see the spoon. <laughs> okay, uh, whenever you're ready. All right, on the spoon. Good oh, miss. Balls. Okay. I don't even know where that went. I, went I, I actually saw that with my eyes. It went to the right, I think. This is another of the 10 gram lightweight slugs. And the funny thing about this, this one was the most stable flying one of the entire shoot. And it just barely missed. And now let's shoot some ballistic gel with another of the 10 gram okay, lightweight slugs. Still on the table. Didn't fall. No tarp needed. Let's look at the high speed footage now. Remember, this is the 10 gram, or if you're into bullet weights, that's about 150 grains of mass hitting our gel block. And it actually did a pretty good job of transferring energy because the slug more or less broke up into several pieces. Now we put some water on top of our gel block and it kind of shows you how much energy is hitting the block too. Just another visual cue on what things do when they hit the gel block. It didn't go real deep. But Not very deep. It's pretty nasty about, still. I'd say we've got about seven inches of uh, penetration. It uh, left a he hell of a wound cavity because it started coming apart. So uh, it's like a bunch of shrapnel in there. Yeah, like the nut came off and the. <laughs> yep. That's pretty good though. So there's a little washer in there. There's a little nut, and then of course the little shaft. So yeah, we got all the pieces in there. <laughs> Nothing hit our vest over here. So. Right. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Pleasantly surprised though at how accurate they were. Yeah, some were, some were. You know, we didn't like rifling. It yeah, didn't make it better. Didn't like rifling. The heavy ones were crazy accurate, even when they were wobbling and tumbling. The light ones seemed to hit a little bit high and right. It seemed out of this shotgun at least. So, huh. I don't know. Otherwise, uh, pretty enjoyable to shoot and uh, surprisingly uh, accurate or consistent yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad, Evan. Start, that's it. Start that's it. That's our last else. one. It is it's really hot out here. God dang it. It's like 185 degrees out here right now. We're melting. We're fair skinned individuals. So we're going to step back under the shade canopy and pack up all of our crap. We thank you guys for coming out here and watching with us, though. I hope you're watching from some cool, dark basement and your mom, <laughs> your mom upstairs making you some lasagna. So <laughs> thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.